I want to show you a sneaky little trick that they sometimes use in the punctuation sort of tests, particularly if it's a passage. Um, they can do it just as well with when it's in short sentences that they do it. So they would have the passage like this. There we are. And then you've got questions, one, two, three, four, five, six, we'll say six. Now the, and then you have to work out A, B, C, D, where the, or N, where the um, mistake is. And a lot of children, what they do is they go to here and they say there's no full stop and there isn't a full stop and therefore they say that's the problem. Whereas actually if you read to the end of the sentence which goes down here and there is a full stop there. Ooh, so always make sure you read to the end of the sentence before deciding if that final full stop is missing. Pro tip. Oh, I thought I closed it then. I'm sorry about this, I've suddenly got very bad at closing it. Um, see you soon. Still not closing, is it? Ah, it's because I'm pressing the wrong buttons.